Hi everyone, it's Ava. Welcome to the channel. Today's quick video is going to be for you returning players on Neverwinter. I see so many questions on Reddit and on my own channel where people do ask, what do I do as a returning player? Where do I even start? That is like a fantastic question and I never really knew how to answer it because I never took a break from the game until just this past year. I was off for about six months or so, coming back to it, missing two mods, it was very obvious that you can get behind very quickly. There are a few things that I think that are really important as a returning player to just go ahead and do right when you log on. These might be straightforward to some people, but I didn't even think about doing this when I got on. There were so many outdated things on my character that I actually could just turn it around into Astral Diamonds in a few different ways, but I'll start with the first. Go ahead and go to Protector's Enclave and get on your mount. Ride it all the way up to the Claims Agent. Once you get to the Claims Agent, just to the right of it, you're going to see a little lady with a coin over her head. She's the Antiquities Vendor, and there you can actually trade in all of your old items that are now null and void on the game into Astral Diamonds. There's a few different tabs and you can go through them and turn them in as you need. Old currencies is one of the things that I quickly turned around into a lot of 80. Once you've done that, you can actually just go over to this guy to the left and just see if the game has given you anything free. Surprisingly enough, when I logged on after my 6 month break, I had a free 7 day VIP and a free 30 day VIP sitting in the claims promo section. Uh, something to just check, I'm not guaranteeing you that there will be anything there, but if you're a returning player, you might find something there that you didn't realize was going to be there. Another thing I would recommend is go ahead and go and get all of your inventory together, get it all in one space, open up the auction house and see what things are worth. See if there's something that is really good to keep if you're wanting to start rebuilding your character or worth selling. Sometimes old outdated items can just be turned right back into astral diamonds because it's either rare, doesn't exist anymore, or it's actually really powerful in the game. This game does actually have frequent reworks, so it's not uncommon to get back on the game as a returning player and have millions of astral diamonds of items just sitting right in your inventory. You can sell it all and turn it right back around into things that you need more. And now the hard question to answer is where to begin after that. So as long as you get as much AD as you possibly can. Another thing I'd recommend is just jumping into your old campaign, seeing if you have any campaigns with extra currency, and just purchasing the rough AD section on that campaign store. It's only a thousand, but it will add up pretty quick if you don't need any of that old currency. This is just to get more AD back in a quicker time. And I suppose the last thing I'm going to say isn't exactly something that you have to do, but it kind of can help you. If you're a returning player and you don't really know where to start on your build, a lot of times going to really open areas like Protector's Enclave or sometimes the new areas where people are AFK, you can just stalk the lifers on the game. See what they're using. If you see multiple people using the same helmet, there's a good possibility that's probably the best helmet, depending on the class that you play. Those are just a few starting tips and tricks for returning players. If you have other ideas for other returning players, feel free to put in the comments below. My next video, I'm going to be answering questions that I find on Reddit. I'll see you there. 